Now, you have your song, Ain't Going Out Tonight. Yep. I love that song. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, the, the first track off of the new album that we've released, and uh, it's gotten a great response so far. And uh, Sirius XM, The Highway, has been playing it, so that's pretty cool. The, the, uh, it, I haven't been on the radio much, uh, so th there's something validated, uh, validating about being on the radio, and it's been cool uh, you know, being on Twitter and Facebook and seeing all the positive feedback from the fans. Um, Ain't Going Out Tonight's a, a, a special song for me. Um, I wrote it in the springtime, sitting on the front porch at the house, and I was getting ready to go in the studio with Keith Stegall to, to make this record, and it's the first time I've worked with a, a producer of, of that caliber, I guess, and it's the first time I've really um, turned completely turned the reins over to a producer. I've co-produced other albums, but um, I've never just had, had someone else come in and produce it. Um, so I was a little nervous. I, maybe I, I was a little intimidated because of his track record, you know, winning Grammys with, with Zach Brown and, and Alan Jackson and working with Merle Haggard and George Jones and uh, Randy Travis and all, all these people. So I, maybe I was a little intimidated, but I had, I had written the record, or at least I thought I had. I had like 30 songs already, um, but a few weeks before the session I thought, you know what, I, I, better, I better try to write a few more. So. Um, Ain't Going Out Tonight was the first of the three songs that I wrote before going in there. I was sitting on the porch on a Friday. I was off that weekend and um, I, I was out there playing the guitar and I started thinking, like, wow, it's weird just staying in on a Friday. You know, before we had kids, we'd be figuring out a way to go downtown Athens or, or something. And now it's like, I'm just going to relax on a Friday and stay in. So, you know, I thought, oh, I ain't going out tonight. And then, then I just kind of went, went from there. And I think it was my way of it. Of expressing a lot of the changes uh, that I had been through in, in my in my career, more so than my personal life, um, yeah, I, I, I like to think some you know people can relate to it. So Corey Smith, you're here in House of Blues in L.A. Yeah, first it... first time here. This is the, uh, the first night of our uh, Once to Watch Moving On Up tour uh, that Texas Pete is presenting. So it's a good, an exciting night. I've been looking forward to this for a while. And it's cool to be here at the House of Blues. Uh, the first time I came to L.A., which was just a few years ago, um, I stayed across the street and kept looking over here like, man, I bet that'd be a cool venue to play. So it's, uh, it's cool to be here. And th this is only my third time to L.A., so it still feels new and has that sort of, you know, good, good energy, I guess. So looking forward to tonight. And can I heard you went to Academy Country Music Offices? I did. That oh was a God. lot of fun. Yeah? Uh, yeah, the people there were really nice. A lot of times when you, when you do those visits and, and play, it can be very stale. Um, but their, their place was great. People asked questions and seemed to, and you know seemed to have a lot of enthusiasm. And they had an open bar. They were like, I could go, I could go make a drink. So yeah, that was cool. I was exhausted because we had flown over uh, yesterday, and, and the the three hour difference really is a big difference. <laughs> so I was kind of exhausted when I got there, but yeah, I perked right up, and everybody was cool. So it was nice to be there. Okay, so you, so when you can make a drink, are you a good bartender? No, I'm a horrible bartender. I just <laughs> pour brown liquor over ice. <laughs> there you go. Can't mess that up. Okay, okay. Okay, now you're also uh, working on a record. Uh, working on the record. This is my ninth album, um, and we're over halfway done with. It. I've, I've I've pretty much recorded everything. So now it's just the the process of you know working through the mixes and living with the mixes and deciding if we need anything else and trying to figure out exactly which songs uh, I want to put, put on there. Uh, I've, I've been working on this thing for a, a long time uh, and it's, I actually finished two records since my last record but, but I, I couldn't release them, I just, I, I wasn't happy with them uh, so I, I scrapped them and that led me to, to working with Keith. Uh, so we're at the place now where this is such a, uh, this record's taken such a long time and so much energy and resources I just want to make sure that we're that that it's as perfect as, as it can be uh, so we're, we're not rushing it okay now if you could perform with anyone dead or alive who would that be Ooh, Randy Newman maybe there, there's several there's not just one I'd love uh, I'd love to just hang out with Randy Newman and, and pick his brain um, but the same with, with Willie Nelson or Paul Simon any of those three I would take. And they're all still living, so. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're a really cool guy. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.